Hello my dear students. Good morning to you all. Today we are going to start with a new topic that is narrative essay. Now what is narrative essay? A narrative essay is a story that has specific point. Narrative essay is a story that has a specific point. It strives to teach us a lesson. So, it strives to teach us a lesson or uh, to make a specific point. So even though it is a story, it is different from story writing. Okay, narrative essay writing is different from story writing. Now let us see what are the things included in narrative essay. What should be included? Okay, now narrative essay is often written in first person. Narrative essay is often written in first person. Now, which is the first person? That is I or we. Most probably, we use the pronoun I to write a narrative essay. Now, why it is written in first person? Because it is based on personal story. Narrative essay is based on personal story, personal experience and so it is written in, most often it is written in first person. Now it can also be written in third person. Narrative essay can also be written in third person through the point of view of third person but it is never written in second person okay it should have sensory details now what do you mean by sensory details our five senses that is sight smell touch hearing and feeling right so after reading the narrative essay the reader should imagine whatever the writer wants to say so it should have sensory details now if there are sensory details in the narrative essay so it becomes more interesting and the reader is hooked on the story. Okay. So story should be developed in a chronological order. That is starting from the first to the last. So don't forget to write the essay in a chronological order. Order. Now let us see what are the important elements which make up a story. As I told you earlier, narrative essay is nothing but a story, right? So there are several important elements that make up a story or you can say a narrative essay. So, the first element is setting. Now, what do you mean by setting? 
Setting is a location where the action or story takes place. Second is theme. Now what is theme? Setting means location. Theme that is basic idea. Basic idea or the central idea of the story. Most often it will deal with the topics which are common in human nature. Now which are the topics which are common? So for example envy, um, greed, then love, independence. So these are some common topics. So that will be the basic idea of a story. The third point is mode. Mode is the feeling or atmosphere that the writer creates for the story. The feeling or atmosphere that the writer creates for the story. So the mood could be happy, it could be a sorrowful, uh, it could be scary, it could be suspense, right? So this is the mood of the story. The next element is characters. Characters means the people in the story, right? So these characters are affected by the mood and they react to the events in which they happen. The last element is plot. last element is plot. Plot means the sequence of events. That means what happens in the story. It often includes a turning point at which a characters or event change. Okay. So these are the five elements. Which are the five elements? Setting, theme, mode, character and so these are the five elements while writing a story or a narrative essay. An effective narrative essay should have a thesis that set up the action in the introduction, a transition that is sentences uh, which uh, connect the events and help the reader to follow the story. And the third is conclusion that ends the story and provide a moral a protection or revelation. Okay. So these three elements are very important. So let us see the structure of narrative essay. First is introduction. Introduction is the paragraph that begins your story. So, in introduction, you have to describe the setting. Now, what is setting? That is location where the action or story takes place. So, you have to describe it in the introduction. That is the first paragraph. You have to introduce the characters as well in this paragraph. And uh, you have to prepare the reader for the action to come. Means now the reader should start thinking what happens next. So 
such should be the introduction of your narrative essay. So, a introduction should attract the reader and it should have thesis. Okay, it should have a book and a thesis. Now, what is a book? The narrative book means usually the first or two first two sentences uh, that grabs the attention of the reader. So your first sentence or first two sentences uh, should be very attractive so that the reader should feel like a reading for them. Now these books are important in narrative essay because they help set the stage for the story. So it makes the reader start thinking about what will happen next. So an introduction should have a book and a thesis. Now thesis uh, usually states the main idea of the essay and tells what the organization of information will be. In narrative essay, the thesis introduces the story or the action that begins in the first paragraph. Uh, the second is body. The body of the narrative essay contains most of the plot. Plot means the sequence of events. So that sequence should be in a chronological order that is from first to last. It also gives the supporting information. A body can be divided into different paragraphs. Uh, you can describe uh, each point in one paragraph. And the third is conclusion. Narrative essays also need to have concluding ideas. And that concluding ideas should be written in concluding paragraph, that is the last paragraph of your essay. The conclusion uh, can deliver a moral story uh, or it can tell the reader what the characters learned from their experience. It can also make a prediction about future actions that will happen as a result of the story. Okay. So there can be a moral or there can be a prediction in the concluding paragraph. I hope you have understood how to write a narrative essay. That's it for today. Thank you.